Hey, what's up guys? My name is Carlos and a lot of you guys have been asking me all over social media, how do you create those beautiful thumbnails? I love the thumbnails. Is that lens flare fake? Is it real? Well, I'm here to break it down to you guys. Some of the lens flares are real and some of them are fake. Like your friends, your family, your whole life, and that Photoshop program that you just downloaded so you guys can follow this tutorial along. So let me go ahead and show you guys how you guys can create a fake lens flare for your pictures. Now in order to pull off a fake lens flare, you guys gotta make sure that you guys capture the right image first. So what I always try to do is, I always try to take a picture next to a window or a light source. So sometimes I just aim it directly at the sun and I get a real lens flare and I just enhance it a little bit more in Photoshop. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let me show you guys how to add a fake lens flare to these images that I took. Of course, the very first thing that you guys wanna do is select an image that you guys wanna work with. So in my case, I have this picture of a OnePlus. You guys might've seen this all over social media. And as you guys can see at the very top left corner, there is a little bit of light leaking in. So that's where we're gonna add our lens flare because we already have that light source. So the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a brand new layer and then hit G on your keyboard or head over here to the side and search for the gradient tool. Now at the very top left hand corner, we're gonna double click on here for the color and we're gonna change the color. So what we want is either a red or an orange color. I already have mine set to a preset, that way I don't have to go ahead and deal with all this stuff of finding the color. And let me go ahead and click on the red color, that way you guys can copy the correct color code that I use or if you guys wanna create your own, that's okay. So the color code for this one is FF000. And for the next color, it is gonna be a, a more of an orange color, so it's gonna be FFA200. And that's it, hit okay, and you guys can actually save this as a preset, that way again, in the future, you guys are not struggling. So let's go ahead and hit okay. Now the next thing you guys wanna do is you guys wanna head back to the very top left hand corner and select this second option, which is a radial gradient. That's exactly what we're gonna need right now. Now go back here to the middle of the image and hold shift on your keyboard and just drag a line to the corner. That's exactly what we wanna do, so boom. All right, as you guys can see, we have that nice little sun glow effect. Now we're gonna have to go ahead and cut this out. So let's go up here and select the marquee tool and we're gonna cut this out. So we're gonna draw a circular shape and boom. So, oh, every time you do this, this always happens. So let me go ahead and undo this and make sure you guys actually select the inverse of it and now hit delete on your keyboard and boom, it is gone. So now we have our sun cut out. Now the next step we wanna do is we wanna go over to filter and go to blur, Gaussian blur. And I like to do around 288 pixels or you guys can go a little bit higher, but that's just my preference. I think 288 looks really good. Hit okay and boom, we have our nice looking lens flare. Now we're gonna go over here where we select an overlay and we're gonna wanna screen this layer. And that's pretty much it. This is how I create my fake lens flare. So now the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it to the light source up here in the corner. And again, you guys can mess around with this. I like to lower the opacity just a little bit. That way it looks a lot more natural. And from here you guys can actually make this a lot bigger with Control T. Just expand it just a little bit more so it hits the phone. And you guys can just position it anywhere you want. Of course, you guys always wanna select a light source, that way it looks a lot more natural. I think that looks really good, yeah. All right, now I'm gonna take it a little bit more and add some reflection, some lens reflection. So I'm not gonna work with this image no more. You guys already know how to create a lens flare. So let me go ahead and exit out of this, don't save, and let me go ahead and go to the next image. Now we have our light source here directly on the right, so I'm gonna create a fake lens flare. Boom, I right, just copied the last layer, so it makes it a lot more easier for this video. Now let me change the opacity, I think around, what, 66, 65, uh, yeah, that looks really great. All right, so let's go ahead and create a fake lens reflection now. Of course, Photoshop has a built-in tool for this, so we're gonna go ahead and select the image, which would be the background layer. Hit filter, go to render, and it should be right here. This is lens flare. Now here you guys can select the type of lens flare that you guys want from a different type of lens. So they have the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom lens, a 35 prime, a 105 prime, and a movie prime. Of course, I'm just gonna select the 50 to 300 millimeter. Personally, I think that looks a lot better. I'm gonna put it directly above the lens and just hit okay. 
boom, you guys have your nice lens flare reflection now. Now the problem with doing it this way is that you guys cannot move it around at all. You guys can't lower the opacity. You pretty much can't do anything to it. It is pretty much stamped onto this image. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can fix this. So the first thing you guys wanna do is you guys want to undo this. So hit Command Z on your keyboard and then go back here to the very bottom and we're gonna create a solid color layer. So this is gonna be a black solid color layer. Now you're gonna hit OK and now you're gonna go back to filter but you guys see this option right here at the very top it says lens flare. Now we're gonna select lens flare on there and boom, it dropped the lens flare in the same position as the other image. Now what we wanna do now is we wanna get rid of the black. So we're gonna select the overlay again and we're actually gonna go to around screen. And boom, there it is, that same lens flare effect. But now you guys can actually lower the opacity. Look at this. Pretty much you have a lot more control doing it this way and you guys can actually move it around. You guys can actually make it a lot bigger so you guys can actually transform this. And you guys can just mess around with it and you guys can create that nice fake lens flare reflection. So that's how you guys add a fake lens flare in Photoshop and it makes it look a lot more realistic once you add those reflections. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys did, make sure to smack that like button, comment down below, hit that notification bell, that way you guys are notified when brand new videos drop. Also, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram at MobileCarls. I wanna check out the kind of work that you guys did following this tutorial. I'll give it a like and I'll also comment on your picture. Anyways guys, make sure to follow me all over social media at MobileCarls. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Huh. You know, I'm actually very hungry, but I have no idea what to eat right now. Maybe McDonald's, In-N-Out, I don't know, Jack in the Box. Either way, it's all fake food. Everything's fake. So, let's go eat.